Good evening, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Happy Labor Day to each of you. Psalm 65 and 11 says, You crown the year with a bountiful harvest, and even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Numbers 14 and 8. And if the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us safely into that land and give it to us. It is a rich land flowing with milk and honey. And Numbers, uh, excuse me, First Chronicles 23 and 26. Now the Levites will no longer need to move the tabernacle and its furnishings from place to place. Father, we thank you for giving us rest, relief, and release from our days of nomadic corporate worship as you establish us in a place of our own this month in Jesus' mighty name. Well, we greet you this evening. It's time for the weekly from Pastor's Desk uh, email message. I just want to take this time to stop by and just say hello to each of you and um, just give you just a few announcements and observations as we normally do. This is week 31 of our Bible Literacy Campaign and it is going by so fast so after this week we have eight weeks left can you believe it and we would have read the bible from cover to cover word for word it has certainly been an aggressive program and um i realize for those of us who are not used to it it may have been a bit much to keep up with but we want to encourage you to just keep going don't be concerned about being behind and not finishing at the appointed time but be concerned about finishing the point of the exercise is to read the bible from cover to cover word for word and to be enriched by the experience of exposing yourself to the entirety of God's holy written revelation. Remember to keep each other in prayer, especially our students, uh, parents, teachers, faculty, administrators, and everyone that has something to do with our education system as uh, schools make a official start. Some of them are still delayed and we just need to keep parents in prayer because some of them are scrambling as far as what they are trying to figure out what to do with their kids while they still have to go to work. And um, there's so many issues that just need to be constantly kept in prayer where this is, is concerned. <clears throat> we are going to uh, have our Wednesday evening band session. Uh, so um, we look forward to seeing you there. Just please remember that as well as our uh, Wednesday morning and Friday morning prayer sessions. If you have not, I'm sorry, I said uh, Wednesday evening band, but what I went, meant was Wednesday evening uh, video conference. I had band on my mind. I'll talk about that in a moment. We are going to press forward with Wednesday and Friday morning teleconference prayer encounters. So speaking of band, if you have not joined our band uh, group, <clears throat> please let me know so I can get the invitation out to you. We really want to keep everybody connected and just stay uh, in touch with one another as much as we can in lieu of the fact that we do not meet, meet physically, all right? And so, um, again, just respond to that as quickly as you can. And let me just say thank God for each of you. Um, thank you for your prayers, your love, and your support. And um, I'm back in school. School actually started August 24th for Hofstra University. Um, and one teacher actually gave us preliminary start assignments even before the semester officially began. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm going to be contending with. But God is able. And so far, I'm keeping, I'm so far I'm keeping up with my work. So uh, please continue to keep me in your prayers as well as everyone that is pursuing education and anything that uh, those of us have obligations and tasks in front of us that we're reaching for. Well, that concludes uh, us for this week. Um, be well, stay safe, uh, con continue to pursue God, stay close to him, and get everything that you need to get from him while we're in this season, which is actually a season of preparation for what God is about to do next. Until then... Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord. You are our strength and our redeemer. Now unto him was able to do exceedingly abundantly above that we could ask for a thing. According to the power that works in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to our old age, the world without end. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and lift his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace and be with you now forevermore. It is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we say and pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.